Hello and welcome again friends, in today's guide we will learn, how to install and dual boot Lubuntu OS alongside Windows 10, without losing any data, so watch the complete guide without skipping, and follow every steps carefully, but before starting this video session, I humble request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to get the latest updates about new tutorials. So let's get started. These things are required to dual boot Lubuntu OS alongside Windows 10. Now the our first step is download the Rufus USB tool. To download Rufus, simply open your web browser. Now search for the Rufus download in Google. Now open the first site, which is owned by Rufus.ie. After opening the site, simply scroll down. Now click on Rufus 3.13 to download it. After downloading follow the next steps. Now the our second step is download the Lubuntu ISO file. To download ISO file, simply open your web browser and search for the Lubuntu download in Google. Now open the first link, which is lubuntu.net. Here you'll get 32-bit and 64-bit version of Lubuntu, you can download according to your system, here in my case I am downloading 64-bit version Lubuntu, it requires you EFI BIOS for the installation. Simply click on the version, which you wants to be downloaded, and wait for a few seconds. Now the download is started, as you can see here, it is around 717 MB in size, so it will take some time to be downloaded, so please be patient. Now the our third step is write the ISO file to USB drive. For easy purpose I created this folder on the desktop, and copied the files which we downloaded in previous steps. Now open the Rufus, by double clicking on it. Now here, you will have to select the USB drive, which we are using for the Lubuntu installation. So first verify it, and then select it, otherwise you'll lose your data. Now in boot selection menu select, disk or ISO image mode recommended. Now click on select, and navigate to the location, where you place the ISO file of Lubuntu. Now click on the ISO file, and then click on open. Now in the partition scheme section, you'll have to select it according to your system partition scheme. If you don't know how to check the partition scheme, simply click on the I button on the top right side. Here in my case, my system partition scheme is GPT, so I selected GPT here. After selecting partition scheme, don't do any changes in any settings, leave as it is. Now click on start. Now here you'll have to select write in ISO image mode recommended. Now click on OK. Now a warning message will open, which is saying all the data is formatted on the selected drive. Now click on OK. Now the image writing process is started, it will take some time to be completed, so I am fast forwarding the steps to save your precious time. Now the image is successfully copied to USB drive, now close the Rufus and follow the next steps. Now the our next step is create a free space for the Lubuntu installation. To create free space, right click on start menu. Then click on disk management. Now in disk management window will open, here you'll have to find the select the partition, which has more free space available on it. Here in my case the drive have more free space on it, so I select it by clicking on it. Then right click on the selected drive. Then click on shrink volume. Now a new window will open, here we have to enter size in MB format. In my case I am creating 10 GB free space for the Lubuntu. So here, 10240 MB is equals to 10 GB. After entering desired size, simply click on shrink. Now as you can see here, 
Our 10 GB free space is now created here. Now close this window and follow the next steps. Now the our next step is enable legacy support from the BIOS. To configure it, restart your Windows system. When the system is rebooting, press escape key continuously to configure BIOS setting. Now press F10 key to configure BIOS. Now navigate to the System Configuration tab. Now find and select Boot Options. And press Enter key. Now find and select Legacy Support and press Enter key. Now select Enabled and press Enter key. Now select Yes and press Enter key. Now press F10 key to save changes. Now select Yes and press Enter key. Now the system is restarting, now again press escape key continuously. In some cases, BIOS will ask you for confirming changes. So you have to enter the keys which are shown in the message. In my case the keys are, double five nine seven plus enter key. In your case the keys may be different. After press the keys, the system will restarting, so you have to press escape key continuously. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select USB drive which has UEFI label. After selecting press enter key. Now select install Ubuntu and press enter key. Now the R system is booted into the Ubuntu installation media. Now I recommend you to make sure your system is connected to the internet. Connect to the internet via USB tethering. It is easy method to connect to the internet. Now here, you'll have to select your desired language. After selecting language press enter key. Now here, you'll have to select your desired region or country. After selecting region, press enter key. Now here, it is asking to detect keyboard layout. Here select no by pressing tab key, and press enter key. We will configure it manually. Now select your desired keyboard layout. Which is your favorite. After selecting, press enter key. Now from here, you can select your desired keyboard layout in depth. After selecting, press enter key. Now the installer is scanning for the hardware components and also loading files for the installation, so it will take some time, so I am fast forwarding these steps. Now here you'll have to select network adapter, so here in my case, I am selecting Ethernet PCI and then press enter key. Now the network configuration is succeed. Now here, you'll have to enter the host name, you can leave it default or change it. After changing, press enter key. Now here you'll have to enter your name or anything. After enter name, select continue by pressing tab key. Now press enter key. Now here, you'll have to set up user account, so enter the name for the user account. After entering username, select continue by pressing tab key, and press enter key. Now in these step you have to set the password for the user account. After setting password, select continue by pressing tab key, after that press enter key. Now again enter the same password for the confirmation. Now select continue by pressing tab key, after that press enter key. Now the installer is setting up the clock, so please be patience. Now a message has appeared, which is asking, selected time zone is correct or not. Select yes if time zone is correct, if not select no. After that press enter key. Now here we will have to unmount the partition, so select yes by pressing tab key, after that press enter key. Now installer is configuring settings, so please be patience. Now here, we will have to select the partitioning method. This is most important step, here we will have to select manual. After selecting, press enter key. Now in the step, we have to find and select the free space, which we created in earlier steps. After selecting free space, press enter key. Now select create a new partition, and press enter key. Now first we are creating boot partition, with 500 MB in size. 
Here type 500 MB. Now select continue by pressing tab key, after that press enter key. Now select beginning. Now press enter key. Now navigate to the mount point, and press enter key. Now select slash boot, as mount point. Now press enter key. Now select done setting up the partition and press enter key. Now again find and select the remaining free space and press enter key. Now select create a new partition, and press enter key. Now here, we are creating 2GB swap partition. To create it, simply type 2GB. Now select continue by pressing tab key. And press enter key. Now select beginning. And press enter key. Now navigate to the use as. And press enter key. Now select swap area. And press enter key. Now select done setting up the partition and press enter key. Now again find and select the remaining free space and press enter key. Now select create a new partition and press enter key. Now we are creating root partition. Here we are using whole remaining free space for the root partition. So don't do any changes in partition size. Now select continue by pressing tab key, after that press enter key. Now navigate to the mount point and press enter key. Now select slash root as mount point and press enter key. Now select done setting up the partition and press enter key. As you can see here, three partition is now created here. Now select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and press enter key. Now installer is asking for writing changes to disk. Select yes and press enter key. Now the installation has started. It will take some time, so please be patient and please don't press any key. I am fast forwarding this step to save your time. Installation is in process, so like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now the installation is completed, now remove the installation media, then press enter key. Now the R system is restarting. From here, you can boot into the Lubuntu or you can boot into Windows 10 as well. So let's try booting into the Lubuntu. Select Lubuntu and press enter key. Wait for a few seconds, it will take some time to boot into the Lubuntu OS. Now the R system is booting into the Lubuntu OS. Now enter the password the user account, and click on login or press enter key. Now we are successfully booted into the Lubuntu OS. Now let's check, can we able to boot into Windows or not? Now select, Windows Boot Manager and press enter key. As you can see here, we also able to boot into the Windows 10, now let's check our data is still available or formatted. Congrats, our data is not formatted. So friends, if this guide is helpful for you, then like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.